our age and people experiencing these things. Kyle, I want to bring you in. You're school captain. Uh, you, you know, what difference, you know, boys, it's, it's, it's difficult, isn't it? Because it's so generational with young men, you know, and you're there trying to stop this, you know, as a young man yourself saying, okay, it ends here. It's going to end here with me and my mates. Is that sort of where you're thinking with this? Um, absolutely. I think there has been a, uh, a big push for a societal change recently. Last year, toward the end in November, we held a white ribbon assembly. And, um, and you led this, right? I, I want people this. to know. You, you made all your mates, all the boys in your year levels, sit, stand up and take the oath. That's right. Uh, all males in years 10, 11 and 12 um, stood up, took the white ribbon oath. And I think it was an incredibly powerful message. Um, and it even you know, affected some women that have been affected by uh, these such like domestic violence. They, it brought a tear to their eye because it was a really powerful message. It meant so much to them. And, uh, there's a lot of machismo, though, in, in young male culture, and I'm talking about, you know, some of it's sometimes sports-related, some of it's what we get through the media about, you know, how men are supposed to react and how they're not supposed to react. I would assume that not just for the women and, and, and young ladies and, and talking about this in front of young ladies, but talking about these open emotions to each other could be quite confronting. How do you get through to say, no, this is how we are going to stand by each other, men, young men and young women, and change things? Um, I think we've got to be not so judgmental. We've got to be supportive and encourage for a cultural change and I think it's the young men of today's society that need to stand up and embed good morals and values um, into society and into our culture and the main message that we're aiming at getting across is not violent, not silent. I completely agree with you mate, I completely agree. Maureen, why is it important to have these conversations at school? I mean a lot of people might be sitting at home saying well they, they should happen at home you know with the parents and with their families. Um, well, there's a few reasons. One is that young people are at school five days a week, so it's a place where we can talk to large amounts of young people at the one time. It's a place where lots of their attitudes and values are formed because they're spending so much time there with each other. So it's a really good place to bring in different information. And Love Bites is a program, it's an information giving program. So we respect that parents will of course be having their own conversations with their young people, but we see ourselves as coming in from all different services services and maybe providing information that young people don't know where to get anywhere else and helping them uh, um, see where they can go to get assistance if they need it as well as from their families. I also think that some you know parents out there you know as much as we want to say we influence our kids they're really going to be influenced by their you know their friends at school aren't they Sarah? So you know what why was this course so powerful for you personally? Well, just getting access to the first-hand information and also then having um, multiple people across multiple um, areas, you know, that specialise in these kind of cases, they kind of reinforced what the program was about and we could directly ask them what experiences they had seen and, you know, then uh, it has initiated Kyle and, you know, our school to kind of put forward a new way of seeing these um, kind of situations and you know, acting upon that and using assemblies to kind of notify and um, spread the word. How did you and your mates feel when Carl made the boys stand up and take the oath? It was one of the most emotional assemblies I've ever attended at school. Um, definitely, you could have heard a pin drop in the room. Everyone was just so silent and so intently listening. They couldn't believe, it was a shock to everyone. We didn't really know that it was going to happen, but all women, I think, who participated and were part of that assembly really were hit home in the heart right there. There you go, Carl. How's that make you feel, mate? Incredibly proud as a school captain to know that our school's heading in the right direction. You should. And I think the next generation's heading in the young direction with people like both of you here. And Maureen, I know the eyes of the world are on this. Good luck with continuing this program. I think it's a fantastic one. Tell us what you think on Facebook. Would you like to see these programs at your kids' school? Or if not, do you disagree? Let us know. Sonia? Yeah, great new sex education program there. Coming up, Russell...